Minnesota United fans, and welcome to the instant match reaction to Minnesota United 3, San Jose 1. Um, first, I'd like to say that I'm starting to really, really, over the last couple years, uh, dislike San Jose with um, Erickson, who is by far the most, how do I put this nicely, um, complainer of a player he just is always in the ref's ear just complaining just on the ground rolling around um, but he really didn't get into the game as much as I think he'd like to he was dictating their play a lot but he was just everyone hates him every time he got the ball towards the end of the game it was just booze all, all around Alliance um, but anyway um, we start out with a unchanged lineup from last week and it started off great um, with our first cross in. Really, Darwin um, gets a hold of the cross with his foot, and it kind of just nestles into the top, bounces in, nestles into the top corner, and kind of hits the bar and goes in. And we go up 1-0 really quick, um, an assist from Finley. Um, but and it, it was a dream start um, going into a game against a team who is really hot in San Jose, and they – um, were ahead of us in the standings by one uh, one slot. I believe they were in fifth place, and we were in sixth, but we moved all the way up to uh, fourth place after this win tonight. Um, and I wasn't a huge fan of the ref tonight. He, he was not calling a lot of fouls both ways. Um, there was some where he'd let go and then call it back late, and it was – I. I really want to know where he got his referee badging. Um, it's been some very poor refs in the MLS, but um, the line judge was pretty good tonight. Um, he had a couple calls where he was uh, talking to the line judge a little bit of where he'd miss a call. Like a, Angelo couldn't get a grip in the game tonight because their center backs were all over him, just grabbing jersey pulls and hugging him from behind. And it was – it was – not his best night, but he played all right. It was for what they gave him and what he worked for. Played well, I'd say well. But um, anyway, it was going good. It started off good, and then um, right before um, one of the thirty minute, one of their players pick up a yellow, pick up a yellow, um, and we get a free kick right outside the box. Um, and man. It was a good opportunity. If they wouldn't, have, if they wouldn't have picked up that yellow card, Finley would have been through. Um, would have been able to tee someone up. Probably wouldn't have goal. So it was a tactical foul from them. And uh, um, they get a yellow card at the end. We don't score off the set piece, um, unfortunately. But anyway, um, then towards the end, right before it was right before uh, halftime, um, Finley's beaten on the right side with Gasper covering the inside player. Um, one of the San Jose, I believe it was Espinosa, making a run on the right side, or it might have been Thompson. Um, anyway, he beats Finley, and Finley challenges, takes him down. It's a clear foul, and they get a really dangerous free kick on the edge of the edge of the side box, um, kind of like an in swinger, or um, an in swinger on the uh, back post or a near post shot um, with the left foot and. It was probably the luckiest goal I've ever seen. Um, Erickson takes it with his left, and Miguel uh, blocks it, and it lands straight to Thompson off his chest or head, and it bounces straight into the bottom right corner, and Minone can't um, make the reaction save. It was close, and it was tough, but it was an extremely lucky, extremely lucky goal. But uh, going into halftime, it looked bleak. They went um, in, tied 1-1. Um, and it was rough. Um, but go coming into uh, the second half, it was a bit back and forth. But we started the second half really well. I think uh, Heath probably got into him, and we didn't start the second half. The first, the, the second half of the first half was not that good. So going into halftime, you had to get under him and tell him, "Hey, we need something more." Um, but um. We had some nice play, and Boxel tries finding, I believe it was either Angelo Darwin in the middle, and he was making, made a couple really nice runs from center back up, 
uh, tonight as well as Opara made a couple, but uh, Boxhill made several. And this one actually paid off because he tried passing it to Angelo Darwin and it bounces off the defender right back to him and he almost like it passed it to himself like a through ball. And he slots it in for 2-0 and it was sweet in the 52nd minute. Um, but it wasn't done yet um, with Chris Wondolowski on the field, the uh, MLS top goal scorer, um, absolute legend in the MLS. Um, you never know when he's going to pop up with a goal or three. Um, so you got to be careful, but I believe Opara and Boxel did a really good job of covering him tonight. Um, and actually, uh, Wando gets subbed off in the 60th because he didn't really have a lick all night. He was complaining to the side judge. Um, don't know what for. Couldn't hear him well, but he was he was kind of mad about his performance. I probably thought um, didn't play quite too well. Didn't get, really get a lot of service. Um, a couple balls that uh, came through the six yard box, but he uh, Opar or Dotson or Gasper have been able to clear him. And Gasper and Dotson proved himself again as rookie left and right backs. So, uh, they're here to stay and they're cementing themselves into the MLS as. Weekend and weekend started, at least for Hassani, and Gasper has been playing great. So when Montier comes back, I don't know if Hassani is going to move up into a different role or you're going to play there. Gasper is going to move around or we're going to have three backs that are all capable of playing very well. And But Montier needs to get back into the team when he's back from Madagascar. Um, but after that, they also make another sub. Uh, Salinas comes on for Lopez. Um, Salanis is a San Jose regular, I believe. He really came on and didn't do too much, but um, San Jose looked a lot better when uh, we actually made a sub of Angelo for Toy, and Toy did not play very well, I don't think, when he came on his positioning-wise. There was a couple things he did well. He almost uh, was able to block a back pass, um, pretty much get out on his own through ball from the center back. Um, but... He didn't really play too well, um, but he, he was a sub for Angelo, and um, that was the first sub. He also made another sub for Judson, who was man-marking Darwin most of the night um, with another player, um, and Darwin played well with what was given, and those the defensive scheme they had against them, they always had one guy really close to Darwin, um, almost man-marking him the whole time. Um, Greg Goose picks up a yellow card, and Darwin picks up a yellow card in the 76th and 78th. Uh, it was after a foul, and Jan wasn't too happy about it, and Gregus was complaining about the ref, uh, and the ref in a little huddle, and Erickson was in there, of course, chatting up a storm, and um, Darwin must have said something or done something. I didn't get a chance to see it. Uh, it was kind of far, but... Anyway, Darwin picks up a yellow and is actually subbed by Lawrence Olam in the 83rd, and we're going to just set up shop. Um, a bar, uh, Molino comes up from comes on for a bar at the, the same time, and we're going to set up shop and pick up those three points. Um, but it started to get a little, little bit uh, iffy at the end. They were getting they had a lot, a lot of possession, but we had a really strong defensive shape. Um, and Alhazi picks up a needless, I don't know, but one of the oldest tricks in the book. Uh, a foul is called, and Ozzy kind of throws it over um, their free kick taker and just to kind of get the defense set up, and he picks up a yellow card, needless, but nonetheless. And they're pushing up forward, and we actually were stuck in for a long time, and then in the late in the 90, added time in like the 93rd minute or such. Um Molino gets played on an awesome, awesome through ball. Um, quite, can't quite remember who it was through or who it was from. Um, oh, I believe it was from Opara. But um, it was a beautiful ball. Um, and what are you going to do? He's through. It was literally slots it in the bottom right corner. And we go up 3-1 in the 93rd. So it was like four or five minutes left to add a time for and it's over and we win 3-1 and we go up to the fourth spot in the MLS standings in the West and at that point at this point um, we'd have a home playoff spot which we've had maybe a couple more games play as others um, 
but right now we're looking really good and uh, we play Montreal away on the weekend and then the U.S. Open Cup next week. So as always, come on you loons.